<clears throat> okay, back with question 1.8. Question 1.8, let me just show it to you. Um, let me read it out. Uh, when the golden puffer is threatened, it inflates to a sphere-like shape with a radius of 0.24 meters. Estimating the shape of a perfect sphere, calculate the volume of the inflated golden puffer in meters cubed, and then do it again in centimeters cubed. Okay, so let's do that. Right, so sphere, radius, 0.24 meters. Volume of a sphere, 4 pi, four pi uh, times r cubed over 3. That is the volume of a sphere. Okay, you get uh, that and that. And this is given to you in exam or test. You will not need to remember this formula, okay? It's the volume of the sphere. So um, let's calculate the volume in meters cubed. Volume is equal to 4 pi times r, which is 0.24 cubed all over three and if you calculate that on your calculator you will get an answer of 0 0.057908 meters cubed right now um what i'd like you to do if ever you do this i'd like you to express your answer from any calculation to the correct number of significant figures okay so how do you know the correct number of significant figures well that depends on the question the the values that you're putting into the calculation okay so in this case you've got the radius here which is expressed to two significant figures right one two okay not three you ignore the zero there it's two significant figures so how, how do i express my answer now if you if it, if it's a number less than zero, so basically because this is two six two significant figures, right? Your answer also has to be expressed to two significant figures. So, with numbers less than one, either in other words, naught point some, something something, <coughs> excuse me, you can ignore any zeros that become after the point but before the first digit. Okay. And then the first two significant figures, in other words, the first two figures that mean anything, are the five and the seven in this case. And we're going to round. And because that's a nine, I'm going to round this to an eight and ignore the rest. OK, so let's rewrite that. So that's equal to 0 0.058 meters cubed to two significant figures. OK, so if you do any calculation that involves multiplying or dividing um, by a number with a set of number of significant figures, then you express the answer to that number of significant figures as well. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so we've done it in meters cubed. What about meters, uh, centimeters cubed? Okay, so for, to do that, we need to know how many centimeters cubed in one meters cubed. Okay, so a meters cubed is 100, sorry, a meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Yep, happy with that. So a meter cubed is equal to 100 centimeters cubed, which is equal to 100 times 100 times 100 centimeters cubed. Okay, which is actually equal to 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 centimeters cube that's one million okay so how do i convert uh 0.058 meters cubed into centimeters well that is equal to 0.058 i've just told you one meters cubed is equal to a million okay so i'm going to multiply that by a million i can also write that as 10 to the power six okay using scientific notation um centimeters cubed and if you do that on a calculator you will get um this is the volume remember um that is equal to five um nine uh sorry <laughs> this right 
five eight yeah five eight one two three centimeters cube and and if you look at this this is still to two significant figures okay is that right five nine zero 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 yeah that's correct okay so is the answer to that <clears throat>